All right, well, yo, what's up? This is LG, chief of the ALW. I'm here on the bus with Head PE in Dallas, Dallas, Texas. Thank you, DJ Prada. Um, you know, I get a chance to uh, hang out with Head PE, uh, do some artwork for them, and it's a privilege, and I appreciate it for sure. And not a lot of people get a chance to, to talk to you guys and ask you questions, uh, you know, simple ones like the Brock Lesnar fight. Did you, ever, did you get a chance to watch Brock Lesnar? Oh yeah, it was a great fight. Uh, it looked I, like, I wasn't rooting for Brock though, but he got his ass kicked anyway, even though he won. Yeah, he, That's what's great about MMA. <laughs> he all comes in there, what, like three fights and gets gets uh, a chance to, to do the belt. And Shane Carwin, I thought Shane Carwin was, was going to be smaller than them, but he ended up being the same size. Yeah. And he had him down. I thought that ref was going to uh, call it off. Uh, it was getting pretty close. Cause yeah. I know you brought up Anderson Silva. It seems like you like the MMA. Uh, Anderson Silva is my favorite. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, and that like Chris Lieben, he came in there after only like what a couple weeks fighting before, and took out that Japanese guy. I don't know if you saw the whole fight or not. But... Yeah, I did. I'm not a big Chris Lieben fan, but oh no, he's all right. Yeah, he talks a lot of trash, but he's it... cool. He just can't beat Silva though. <laughs> No, same he's weight class. Yeah, he's he's not gonna be able to. I don't think so. Uh, well, let's see. I guess uh, you know you got the new album coming out in October, and from what I heard so far, it seems to be a little heavier. Um, what's what are you trying to? What's the uh, the goal of that album? Like, what are you trying to express on this new album? It's just more of the uh, whole just expressing my life. see how far we I don't get along. That. I mean that might be what you believe. Is that your theory or what? No, that's just something that I heard. And that's okay. that's something that that's ridiculous. I question too. That's ridiculous. For a truly advanced civilization, there's no place they can't go. Exactly. There's yeah. no uh, there's no out in the boonies because they'll go wherever the fuck they want. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of the theory I thought too with the wormholes is you can literally pick and choose where you want to go like that. So yeah there's just you know so much out there that you don't know and uh, so that album the new album is going to be basically about that um, what about you product what's, up? what's like the newest things you've been doing like with the art or, or anything else daily stuff skate parks uh, graphic you do like skate parks as far as every day that's my uh, one guy goes to yoga I don't, I'm sober so I have to do something daily. yeah exactly you have to that's, do something uh, to get that mind something I like to do you know? yeah like designing skate parks or? No, no, I skateboard skate parks. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's something I like to do. Yeah. Life, you know, it's just a passion. Yeah, exactly. So these guys run like five miles a day. One guy goes to do yoga. I just go hit the bowls. That's just your thing. That's something I like. And you're able to like find skate parks like they're in every the city? World. They're all over the world. They're, they're, it's more, they're more populated than ever right now. Yeah. And how, I mean, how are you able to do that? Like. Do you just roll up on the bus and you find on, on Google Maps like yeah, where there's the... a website that lists everyone? In the oh, world. okay, okay. If they're within ten miles, I go hit it. What do y'all do while he's off skating? Well, he does his laptop. You do like uh, laptop <laughs> or run. This is trauma something. here, the drummer. Um, <laughs> yeah, I notice you know trauma does get on the MySpace quite often, and uh, <laughs> I, I see him. I'm able to chat with them. You know, I'm one of the the few. You know, I saw a picture of a guy in like, I think it was Coney Island or something, and he had a picture with Trauma. He was like, oh man, Trauma's the best from Head PE. Uh, I even play Xbox with him. Yeah, 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 yeah that's right. We, got, we call him the, uh, the bastard of our bennies. Yeah, no. He's just like a, a social, you know. He really is, for real. That's what I was telling him. You know? 
I was like telling them. We've already had like 15 years in this band, so some of us are just getting our own little world. Yeah, and y'all stay there. there. He's like talking to every single Everybody. person in that club. Tonight, exactly. You know? He's uh, good for us. Yeah, I, I see that. He's like, he's almost like the window in. He's like, I can get an interview with you, with you anytime I want. Yeah. <laughs> but it's you guys are the ones who kind of stay up here. Y'all got your own thing. And, you know, that's why a lot of people want to hear, like, your voice and kind of what, you know, what you think and what you do. Because it might not be out there as much as, you know, trauma's out there. It's like, let's go get waffles at IHOP. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. Uh -huh. Straight up, though. You can see him in his hometown. I live a block away from him. He knows everybody in this town. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, how did y'all get? Because Chama's a little younger, I think, than you guys, right? Mm -hmm. Or and it's good to have a it's young guy. The same age as Jackson. Yeah. Oh, is he really? Pretty much. Because uh, it's kind of important to get the, that young blood in there. I know the core head uh, PE. What age you are? Yeah. You don't yeah. need young blood, and you look at you too. They don't have yeah. young blood, and they're the biggest no. band ever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you know, I figured with the drums, you know, you need not an old guy. But well, you need a young guy. Shape, <laughs> no way. Say old that. guys, there's shape. a lot of old guys that are great on drums. Some so. out, uh, and big fat ones. There's some big fat yeah, ones too that are, are actually pretty good. Yeah, oh, big fat drummers are the shit. I was watching Time Warp and they were saying how a drummer burns about 600 calories in one night. Or about 600 calories an hour, it seems like. About 600 calories for trauma, think... he gains it back in four an hour. <laughs> 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 you should see him make the trauma sandwich. Triple trauma decular. It's, it's about this high. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. He eats more than anybody. Kind of like how Chad Johnson just loves like McDonald's. And he'll just chow down at McDonald's. Oh, see, I this guy down, at dude. a buffet or at dance with three grand slams. <laughs> I consume quite a bit of food. Cause I know, but to us, like to us fans, we kind of see progression of you guys. Like we saw you with the beard, and when I had the neon sign, my buddy uh, is a DJ and he loves you, DJ Product. And I noticed that he kind of didn't recognize you because he was expecting the beard, you know. And when I left, I said, People "Hey, change, hey, Product, I'll man. see you later." Like, I'm, I'm still the inside person. Yeah, you know, it doesn't matter yeah. what I, I don't care what I look yeah. like on the outside. Exactly. I'm anti-fashion. Yeah. Anti cool guy, anti rock star, I don't care. Yeah. You know, I'm up there with my shades on. As long as I'm, I'm making what's coming out of that speaker all right, that's all I care about. Exactly. And that's what I was about. Like, me all flared out in the ALW. I don't give a shit. You know, this is my shit. And whatever nobody, you know, whatever anybody says, it doesn't matter, you know, because we're doing what we want to do. And, you know, that's what art is. It's like, well, yeah. fuck you. This is what's typical. Let your typical. shit do the talking, man. Like, yeah. yeah let, let your art do the talking. Exactly. That's all that matters, exactly. You know? yeah. Perfect. Yeah, that's about it. I like your man. stuff, dude. That's good. That's yeah, you notice you that. Like, you notice in our band, we don't wear gold chains or $1,000 <laughs> <laughs> shoes or yeah. anything. Like, we don't care about that stuff. Yeah, man, exactly. You know? and, and it seems to be like you do your own artwork on yourself, like your clothes. Well, I collect, yeah. I mean, like, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, into old 80s punk rock. And yeah, like, exactly. I'm in a record shop. I'm like, oh, I used to have this album cover or Devo or, yeah. um, It's collectively you know, what you like over the like years. Like, I'll go to a skate park and I'll get, like, this thing or yeah, something. Yeah, exactly. Know, I, uh, iconic images I'll sometimes put it on my, I, yeah. I like to look into that. You know? Exactly. I grew up on the 80s uh, skateboarding, which yeah. was very influential to stuff. Clip art on my list or? Yeah, so. What is like? Yeah, that, uh, that. Maybe this is a bit fashionate, but I, it's not really in order. It's it kind of together. looks like it's see, held together by. Uh, you know, I, I grew up in the '80s punk. If I saw a 15-year-old kid wearing all this stuff, I'd kind of trip out because he <laughs> bought it at Hot Topic. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah, because that almost kind of looks like I was painting the ceiling to my roof. Uh -huh. I took all the popcorn off, and I had to wear a jacket. Yeah. And it just looks like exactly Bird like shit. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great. I mean, I, I did this little image, man, with the, like, uh, oh, the stray skull, you know? Yeah, okay. So, yeah. yeah, I saw some of that stuff. Do you do, like, a lot of artwork? Like, or, like, what What are the different types of artwork do you do? I know you do the DJ thing and the music thing, but what other types of art do you do besides, you know? Well, I'm, I'm just obsessed I, with graffiti. Yeah. It's the biggest art movement of our lifetime. Yeah. I mean, the, the tag down the street, I just... I'm so into it. Like that's, Dallas, that's Texas, like the really. one thing I'm like really obsessed with. I'm not a vandal, but like I just love it to see people. That was creepy as fuck it. on this camera, dude. For real. <laughs> There's Jay. God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because I saw, I see you have like a lot of uh, your own stuff, like oh, for, I mean, for I available. Sell these like little paintings, like if kids want some uh, uh, original stuff. You know, so one's they, like a they, drum they head. Always hit me up because they seen the DIY thing or something. They're like, hey. Can we 
me a painting or paint my car, I go, yeah. hey, go check out this little thing. It's like, you know, kids are buying, rebuying them on the internet for hundred yeah, bucks exactly. or whatever. So yeah. it's like, I'll sell them for 10 bucks, you know, it's yeah. worth probably more than that, but I don't care, you know? Yeah, exactly. Like, you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's a cool. cool little thing. You yeah, know? there's only it's limited. There's only like five of them in there. Every yeah, day. it seems like whoever I'm, gets them quick, that that's the that's, lucky ones. Yeah, you know? exactly. That's yeah, you cool. should see his "Don't Do Drugs" monster, man. Yeah, oh, I do really? like that's graffiti the shit, around the dude. world, like these big blob looking. Well, yeah. I saw the DIY guys there's with that big black no, bodyguard. There's, there's some new stuff. No, no, yeah, no, going on. Yeah, oh, some, yeah. new, some new artwork. You gotta catch it where you can catch it. Man. Oh, okay. So you leave like your trademark everywhere you go, pretty much. Oh yeah, yeah. There's something in this town already. I mean, everywhere I go. And you're really being that you're not from like these areas. You don't even know where it's at. You just leave it. Yeah. And, and so sometimes I come back three years from now, it's still there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, that's how it is. That's the cool thing about it. Yeah. You just leave a piece of. You know, like, wasn't there that, that mural you made in uh, Petaluma, dude? That was there like after. Oh yeah, the last decade, <laughs> it lasted 12, 13 years. God. Yeah. If it looks so, good, they just leave it pretty much, well, basically. They, they won't let, let anybody touch it, you know. Yeah. Even in, uh, I got arrested a year ago in Atlanta. Yeah. And I was tagging this thing, and a year ago from now, like it's still there. I'm like, there's all this graffiti everywhere. I'm like, how come nobody went over this? Because people, yeah, like like for their area, yeah, you yeah, know, they Saint clean Louis, it off. St. Louis, the wall next to the arch has got my stuff for three years. I mean, like, there's some stuff that's like stood the test of time, and yeah. nobody's ever touched it. I was like, yeah. why is anybody? Because like the graffiti right usually goes over each other. Exactly. You know? Yeah. They're that's like, like, they're like if it looks like shit, and yeah. they think theirs is better. The space is scarce. So you need, yeah. you, know, you need to get up. So to have that there for so long is a like trip. It's yeah. kind of like a, a testament to that I'm actually pretty good. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, here's Jackson. He just came up. I hope he doesn't mind. We found out a little bit what trauma does. He likes to eat pancakes and hang out with fans. We found out a little. Yeah, associated. <laughs> associated. Uh, DJ probably likes to do all kinds of art, and you know he lives for it. I mean, what does Jackson do? I mean, I, hey man, I, I jog, I eat sandwiches, I love chips and salsa. What, and well, what type of sandwiches? Like oh, gyros yeah. or whatever we have in there. We have like turkey, fucking ham, just basic stuff. Cause that's one of the things that I'm sure we all wonder is like. You know, what do you guys eat when you're on the road all the time? Like, it's are you able to? Most important questions, really. <laughs> think about it. It's just the most important stuff. At least okay. the most basic stuff, you know. Of course, uh, fancy. Today I went over there to the barbecue. They had they had some burgers, and sausage, dog. Dude, that pizza place right here is fucking good. Yeah, I'll check it. Uh, Cause we, the people that live here in Dallas, it seems like, you know, Deep Ellum has kind of like, gone down it for has, some reason. I've been from here. It's completely yeah, dead. Like yeah. it used to be, like uh, bomb, every dude. place here was packed, and it's like who has more tour buses in front of the the venue, and that's the place that you kind of go to. Um, and I also noticed like all the cities I've seen you at, except for the Vegas one, which was fucking sick. I mean, it closed that they closed that whole area down. Uh, but it seems like y'all choose like smaller venues. And, I mean, is that what's the purpose behind that? Because I know I've seen y'all like Nokia, which are huge places. Um, is that is that mainly because you, like, do you uh, rather... We don't, we don't do that. We don't book. We just show up. Yeah. No matter where it's at? Yeah. Like, there's not We're specific... Happy. We played on well, stage in a place like as big as this world. I mean, like, yeah. we've done that before. Exactly. This is, this is an underground band that doesn't... Yeah. We, we, don't, we don't really rely on any radio airplay or any help from them whatsoever. Yeah, exactly. You know, it's, it's all labeled as just grassroots. Yeah. It's about the our fans. strength is based on the hardcore fans that know about us from the internet and whatever, you know, they might hear us on the radio here and there, but it's... Uh, and know, it's only like so one or two songs at the most, they, depending on the city, you know, that they hear. Yeah, about I mean, they'll, 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 they'll probably hear old stuff, stuff, they'll probably hear some new stuff or whatever, but yeah. it's really just kind of at a, a transition that you kind that? of like had to uh, move away from, from having to not so much rely on the old fans, but kind of let go of having to rely on the old fans and gain new ones. Yeah, and exactly. Turning sub noise and you know touring with Cotton Up, King from Tech Nine, and I and strange music, and getting yeah. all this in like the whole industry in general is actually switching over to where it's the, you know the, the majors are hurting. Yeah. And, you know there's a, there's an uprising of independence that really are showing the majors how it should be done. You go out there and you work and you gain the fans by going out there and working. Exactly. You, know, you don't have to rely on the suits necessary you know, necessarily to have you know tickets sold. So it's part of something really special it's a really good time you know yeah that's what i noticed is uh especially the past three years or so since you've been on sub noises 
seems like y'all really been driven like towards like the fans first. Whereas like maybe whenever y'all did play at Nokia or the bigger places, uh, you know, it didn't seem like you were more as receptive to the fans as maybe y'all are now. And uh, I wonder if that's because you're so happy uh, like the label you're on and you know with this new label you're able to kind of just do whatever you want or say whatever you want. It's tough for me to compare to the Nokia thing or whatever. With POD, I think y'all even co-headlined with POD and that was as mainstream as you can pretty much get. So. Okay, well, we're going to have to cut this yeah. short because we're going on stage right now. I definitely appreciate it, guys. Yeah, thank you, brother. Absolutely. Appreciate it.